So lately, I've been getting a lot of emails from a lot of you people out there, and you've been having a lot of different questions. So today, I'm going to address those real quick. The first question was, when I see that you post a video on freeze-dried foods from Augustum Farms, by the time that I go there, they're all gone. Should I use my credit card and just purchase them at full price? And run up my credit card and worry about trying to figure out how to pay it later. Now, the answer to that question is obviously no, not at this point in time. You want to make sure that you are putting away your basic staple foods, which is going to be more affordable for you at this point in time. You want to start with your rice, your flour, your sugar, um, yeast, those type of things, dried beans, all those kinds of goods. You want to move, then move into your canned goods and all that. You want to get canned goods, you want to get canned vegetables, canned potatoes, canned uh, fruits, canned meats, and those type of things. Make sure that you do have water in your home. Make sure you have some way to purify water. I would rather see you buy some way to purify water and use your credit card to do that than I would to see you just go out there and start spending money buying uh, freeze-dried foods of any kind, even though they do last a long time, they are very expensive. All right, so you start with your basics, and this way here, it gives you a good starting point, and then maybe one of these days, you'll catch one of these sales, and you can buy a few cans of freeze-dried foods, whoever may be having sales. Now, another question I had was, for me to drive to a big box store and uh, try to buy in bulk. It is over a hundred miles from my home, which is about an hour and a half ride. I do have other smaller box stores in my area. Should I use my gas and my extra money to drive over there to try to buy in bulk? No, not at this point in time. With the price of gas at what, 467 on average across the nation, uh, some places is higher, some places is lower, uh, you don't want to be doing that. Just shop at your local stores, try to see if you can find some really good deals and maybe some buy one, get ones, check flyers out and everything else. And this way here, it's probably going to save you a ton of money between by the time you drive to this, these, you know, like a Costco, BJ's or any of those type of things. By the time you drive there and back, you're going to waste more gas and you're going to save in the savings of buying in bulk. So just try to hit your local stores at this point in time. Um, unfortunately, that's just what you're going to have to do because you're going to spend way more money on gas on top of whatever you do purchase. So you want to try to stay local as much as possible. Next question that I did receive was, I would like to start a garden, but I do not have room. Can I do these in pots and in planters on my porch out back? Yes, you can. There's a lot of different types of vegetables that you can go in and you can basically do them right in pots and everything else right on your back porch and you can grow some of your own food now granted you're not going to get a lot like you would if you had a nice big garden outside and everything else but you can do that you can also look into buying one of these arrow gardens that you can put in your house you can grow certain things in those also so there are ways if you don't have the land to grow food, you can still do it right on your back patio. So the answer is yes, you can. And you just have to make sure that you are doing it properly and try to get them in the sun as much as possible. Now, the next question, and this one was uh, quite interesting. This person asks, how long does it take for someone to secure enough food for three months for four people well nowadays it's going to take you a while unless you have a really good job or anything else if you had been watching any of my videos or any youtube videos over the last two years we all have been warning of this day coming now does that mean that you cannot succeed in getting three months of food for four people no it does not 
What this does mean is it's going to cost you more money and it may take you a little bit longer, but you're going to have to really get really thrifty with your money and watch for sales. You need to watch for buy one, get ones, because that's the easiest way to add to your stockpile. And you want to make sure that you are always paying attention. Uh, Download the apps and stuff from your local stores, whatever they may be. Most all stores have apps now, so you can see what the the deals of the week are, the sales, um, the buy one, get ones, and all that. And you can still succeed in hitting that goal. It's going to cost you more money, but it is something that is doable. The last question was on prepping. And this person wanted to know, because they hear me talk about plans all the time when you're doing your prepping. And this question was, what is the best plan to go by? And there really is no best plan. I have a plan that I want to do. You people out there have to make your own plans. You have to sit back and you have to say, you know what? Um, This is what I want to do. This is how I want to do it. Um, This is how I want to succeed in my plan. Um, If your plan does uh, take you away from your home in case of an emergency type situation or anything else, that has to be your plan. Your plan is what you have to come up with for you and your family. I give you a template to go by when I've talked about all different types of plans in a lot of different videos. And this way here, it gives you an idea of how to do your plan. But you have to make up your plan for you and your family. So this way here, you're going to be secure in an emergency type situation. And everybody in your family, remember, needs to know what the plan is so everybody knows exactly what has to be done and how it can be executed. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I want to thank you for joining me on this video today. Today I just wanted to bring some information to you on questions that all of you out there have been asking and I think more than just these few people had these questions. So I wanted to address those to make sure that everybody understands the importance of just basically Going back to basics, folks, and starting prepping and putting away stuff. And if you're a seasoned prepper, you just want to make sure that you're always adding to your preps. Whatever it may be, there's always something that you can add to or add on to what you already have, even though if you've been prepping for 20 years. So until next time, folks, thank you for all the emails. Thank you for all the support of this channel. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel. I really do appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.